me, Jess. Um, it's been a really long time since I sat down and filmed a video. Way, way before my trip to America and before my hair was a copper colour. I'm not blonde. So today I've got a bit of a life update for you, which may or may not be quite boring for you. I don't know. My whole life I've been picked on um, all through high school. I was picked on for stupid little things like, for example, not having very big boobs um, because all the other girls' boobs came in at like 15 and when they hit puberty and I'll be honest, I didn't get boobs at all until my second year of uni and even now people make jokes like, oh, Jess hasn't even got boobs. I do have boobs. They are only uh, 10B. I don't really know, but all I know is that when I wear bikinis, I feel self-conscious and I constantly am trying to like pull myself back into it because you can see straight in and I, I don't like wearing dresses or I don't get to wear a bra because it showcases how little I have. It's been great because I have horse ridden most of my life so there'd be days where I didn't even have to wear a bra, which was fantastic, but at the same time now that I'm sort of in the city and I I don't do my horse riding as much, it's it's really hit me how much of an issue it is for me that I don't feel comfortable in my own skin, I guess. It's something. It's just not a lot. You know, I'm about to turn 25 and I can afford to do it and I thought, look, at what point in my life would I ever have the chance to do this again? Um, genetically, I know that it's probably never going to happen for me. Um, I feel like if I am going to make this happen, this is probably the only chance in my life I've got to make it happen. I've not done it before because I've either chickened out or I just never felt comfortable to do it before, I guess you could say. I, you know, even just taking photos to send to somebody, it just was daunting and to be honest, I had to take full on photos to send to a place and I was so uncomfortable looking at them that I've actually deleted them already. Not have to wear a bra with a dress just to look like I have boobs. Not have to wear a bra that's literally this thick. This is a very old bra. <laughs> it's a one twisted and it's just terrible. But this is just a proof of how much padding I wear on a daily basis to make the illusion of boobs. All of that is padding. So I would like to be able to wear a bra that is just this thin bit, not this. Look at this. Look how big that is. It's, so that is why I look like I have boobs, people. Um, when I go to the beach, this is my favorite bikini. Um, only because, again, it's got padding in it. Those are my reasons. They seem stupid, but to me it's a very personal issue and I thought that I would share it with everybody so that, I don't know, so maybe I can inspire somebody else to go out and do something that is as scary and <laughs> horrifying as this. Basically what I'm doing is I'm going to fly up from Melbourne to Sydney. I have actually done a bit of research around Melbourne and I did find one place that I thought was pretty good, but doing it where I live was going to cost me in excess of 10 grand. Whereas in Sydney, this is what I'm doing. I'm flying up on the 30th of January. I'm meeting them. I'm having a consultation. Um, we're doing all the other stuff by photos, by the phone. Um, I'm meeting them, figuring everything out. And then the next day I go in, like I fast that night. I go in the next day, have the surgery. And then I guess I stay. I haven't figured it out yet. Another couple of days and then I come home. That whole process with frequent flyer points, which is going to free flights basically. <laughs> Not sure how much the uh, accommodation will be, but the actual whole thing is going to be just over six grand. So that is $4,000 I'm saving and I'm doing it in a different state. I've seen a lot of positive reviews about this place. Um, so far they've been really efficient, really fast, made me feel super comfortable. Fly up to Parramatta, spend 
three, four days there and then um, there's a two week healing period. So the first week is the week where you don't move much, you don't really do anything. You have to sleep on your back so that nothing moves around because they do go in under your arm in a little crease here. Um, YouTube the videos if you're brave enough. I wish I hadn't because I'd rather not have seen what I saw. They literally go in and just then just shove. It's horrifying. I'm not sure of the profile I'll get yet. Um, I've looked at a lot of different profiles. Like I know you can get like a high profile, which means they're full on like this, and you can see that's what it looks like in the pictures. And the medium ones are sort of just normal. So I'm not sure yet. I'm going to talk to them and figure out what it is that I actually really want. But I will be getting behind the muscle. Um, I will not get them in front of the muscle. I don't think that that looks as natural. And I do want them to settle in eventually and look quite natural to the people who don't know me. <laughs> the people who know me are going to be like... Something, something's different here. Where do I go from here? I've organized the appointment, I've paid the deposit, I've just got to read through everything a bit more. I've got to book the flights, um, I've got my carer lined up to come with me already. Um, someone I trust coming with me to, I don't know, take me from the hospital back somewhere where I can lie on my back and be uncomfortable for the next couple of days. I'm pretty sure uh, I've got to discuss it all. They give me a pack so that I can go in the next day and have little drains that they leave in that have been taken out, I think, or maybe that's the end of the first week, I'm not sure. Uh, and then I will fly back and have my follow-ups here with a GP in Melbourne. This means that it will be a lot more on me, but I know that for that week I'll just do nothing. I'll just sit around and be bored out of my brain. I think for the first month you have to wear that little like that thing, like the compression bra thing that's really uncomfortable and at the end of the month you're allowed to go and buy a bra and you can have a wire and have something underneath again so that'll be exciting. I have pulled this up so many times because there's nothing holding it up. I am so excited that I think I'm going to wake up and burst into tears because I'm going to be so happy but secondly I'm so, I'm so excited that I'm exactly a month after my birthday I'm getting basically the gift that I've wanted since I was 12. I'm sorry if my eyes look super glassy but I keep yawning. I'm just yawning my head off. Yes, I'm very excited. Um, I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> I'll be honest, I am actually quite scared deep down. That's it. I am gonna go. I will keep you updated. Um, I will take a photo and upload it of myself in a bikini top, which makes me really anxious, but I will do it so that I can do it before and after, later on. Um, please no judgement. There's not really any point because I'm not doing this for you. I'm not doing this for anyone except myself, so. Um, thumbs up if you like this video. Feel free to subscribe because this is going to be a long, terrifying and exciting journey. So feel free to follow and um, yeah, let me know if you're going through the same thought processes in your brain. Okay.